Hello, and welcome back to Bigby Plays The Deed Dynasty. I'm tired of William Bruce, so I'm just gonna point that out. I'm just... This is, what, five? Number five? Yeah, we're not gonna do fucking William Bruce. We're gonna do the Scarlet Lady. And we're gonna play the intro. Game options, reset games, alt enter to full screen, and escape for access and menu and inventory. Willowston, Kansas, September 20th in the year 1868. Oh, I think that looks like Kansas. Ma, wait. Dang it. Go on back to bed, Jenny. I'll see you in the morning. It ain't polite to run out while I'm sleeping here. Where are you heading, anyhow? <sighs> I have to go back to the crystal one last time. No, Ma. I thought we were all done with that place. We are, sweetheart. Trust me. It's just... Uh, remember the last time we tried to leave town? When Bill and his goons came looking for us? Yeah, I remember. That big bully Ernie hurt, hurt my arm real bad. This time, I gotta make sure that doesn't happen. I gotta make sure we really are finished with that mean old bastard. What are you fixing to do, Ma? I'm fixing to get old Bill out of, out of our lives for good, darling. And ain't nobody gonna stop me. I don't, I don't know about this, Ma. That'll be a real bad feeling. Just trust me. Everything's gonna be fine. I'll be back at sunrise. And we can catch the next ride out of this sorry old dump of a town. <whistles> this is like Barclay. The scent of whiskey mixed with stale smoke hits you as you enter the Crystal Saloon. Zeke seems to be tending the bar as usual, though the place looks pretty dead right now. You don't recognize the stranger playing cards at the nearby table, but isn't that the town preacher father, Augustine, at the piano? An unexpected sight, indeed. One or another of these folks is going to have to take the fall for what you're about to do. First you need to search the saloon for some evidence. And a murder weapon. Supper will be served once you've chosen two items from the saloon. Take your time and choose wisely. Well, if it ain't Annie. I was just starting to wonder if you were coming back this time. My girl Josie's look start started cooking up some supper if you're peckish. I could eat. Any must around, Zeke? Pearl's upstairs waiting waiting for customers and hurries in the back room. Bill's about to send him out to find you. Well, there ain't no use in it now, in that now. I'll talk to him. Sure thing. Let me know if you'll be needing any bottled courage. Even, Father Augustine. Don't see you around here often. Please, Annie. Just call me Gus. Don't mind me, Josephine. Just don't mind me. Josephine's laundering some vestments for me. So I'm paying my way with the gift of music. How's the Lord treating you these days? I don't reckon I need a sermon right now. Spare me the Bible talk. Just my way of asking how you are, Annie Bruce. I don't need to get all riled up about it. Seems to me that something is troubling you. Something you want to talk to me talk about, maybe? So we are the descendant of William Bruce. Sorry, Father. Guess you just caught me in a bad mood. That happens to the best of us, Annie. If you ever want to talk about what's bothering you, you know where to find me. Got something on your mind, Annie? You run into old Bill lately? Sure. For all his faults, you know old Bill is a true believer. I see my church all all the time. You been acting strange at all when you see him in church? Not at all. He's always coming in with a lot of energy. Sings the hymns louder than anyone else. His singing sounds like a coyote being strangled. But I gotta admire his passion all the same. You spoken to Zeke lately? Ah, oh, good old Zeke. Gotta love that man. It's been a while since we had a heart to heart, Zeke and me. Maybe we should. He still comes to the church every week, always gives you generously. Maybe too generously, if anything. Why do you say he gives too generously? 
Well, you know the church always appreciates charity. It's just like to see people giving more than they can afford. You see in the state of Zeke's house at the edge of town, ain't no secret that he and Josie can't hardly afford to keep the place standing. I'd afford some help, but I reckon he's too proud for that. You know anything about the black man over there? No, I had the pleasure of making his acquaintance just yet. Seems like a quiet type, don't he? So Josie's doing some laundry for you? That's right. He even invited me to stick around for supper. You're a good girl, that Josie. I only wish she could find a different employer. I take it to, I take her on at the church myself. Things were different. How come you don't take her on yourself? Well, I can barely afford to keep the place standing. Not my paying her salary. If I had the money, I'd take her on a second. One of the nicest, kindest, most generous girls in, in town is that Josie. How well do you know Ernie? You'd be an old Bill's right hand man. Never had cause to associate with him. Never even seen him at church once before. No pearl at all. I don't see her so much these days. She used to come to the church and confess in confession sometimes. She said she had these pangs of conscience that made her feel the need to confess her sins. Fortunately, there was some unpleasantness one week. She hasn't sat by since. Pleasantness? Guess there's no harm in telling you. Another member of the parish accused her of taking money out of the collection box. It was never proven, though. I wouldn't have wanted to press charges in any case. Guess the embarrassment was enough to stop her from coming to the church. Anyway, a real shame. Hold on, preacher. God bless you, Annie Bruce. I'm not interested, thank you. Interested in what, stranger? Whatever you're offering. I have no desire to cause any offense, so I'd rather let you know right now off the bat that I don't desire women or liquor. You ain't interested in women or liquor. What brings you here? I have some business to conduct here in town. Business that is far above the locks of you, I'm sure. You would do well to keep that pretty little nose of yours out of it. Got some business with old Bill Stranger? Even if I do, I would not be at liberty to divulge that information. You won't be getting anything out of me. So I just suggest you stop trying to leave me in peace. Alright, 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 alright. What's in here? This is known as the Scotland Room and is where most of the saloon's real business takes place. Pearl stands in front of the fireplace daydreaming and humming up soft tune for herself. Whore. Well, look who finally shows her face. Happy to see me, Pearl. Was kind of hoping you... Was kind of hoping you might move on to the fire pastures. Sure as heck fire ain't no use. You, you're staying around here. You would have been a better for the girl, too. The crystal is no place for a sweet little thing like her. Ain't no use to me staying. What's that supposed to mean? Just wish you'd pull your weight around here, that's all. It ain't like you're bringing in any money since old Bill took you out of circulation. As far as I can tell, all you do is mop around all day long. What is it that you do for this saloon, anyhow? Yeah, and I bet the most real hard work lying back and spreading your legs for all the drunken louts who stumble in here. Don't forget where you come from, Annie. Been so long since you were doing this yourself. And maybe you'll be doing it again as soon as Bill realizes there ain't no other use for you. What else do you want? You don't say anything about strange old boat about old Bill. You can't say as I have. He's been waking up at night with these nightmares. Oh, sorry, Annie. Guess you don't want to hear about that. Don't worry. Any secret that old Bill likes to sample his own merchandise, Pearl. Well, a sample, Annie. I'd say your man likes a good bit of feasting, if you know what I mean. Whenever you leave him in a foul mood, I just... I know just how to get him all smiling and satisfied again. Like last night. Actually, who were right? You were right, Pearl. 
I don't want to hear about it. Suit yourself. Spoken to Zeke much lately? Not really. Been almost a year since he last took a tumble with me. I guess some men just can't keep it up in their old age, you know? He's turned soft in more than ways than one. The other day he turned away the one, this one girl <coughs> out of haze who came into the saloon looking for work. She said was too young. Like we can afford to be choosy right now. Didn't old Bill have something to say about that? Oh, you bet he did. He was steaming mad when he found out about it. He never heard two of them go at it like that before. Our Bill might knock the old man out. Right before the sun noon. Guess they worked it out, though. I sure did a strange sight to see, especially since old Bill had to ban him from this place not so long ago. I suppose he reckons he doesn't have to obey anybody, anyone but God himself. Must be nice. Why doesn't old Bill kick him out if he's banned? Must have changed his mind, I'm guessing. Old Bill has been going to church more lately. They seem to be getting along pretty good. He best not outstay his welcome, though. I bet he's keeping my customer away. But the man in black downstairs don't even want to talk about him. Nobody tells Pearl they ain't interested in any. Nobody. Not much. She keeps to herself in the kitchen these days. And it feels like she thinks she's better than me. Nothing but a damn kitchen wench. That's what she is. She ain't no better than me. How's Ernie doing these days? You mean old Bill Shadow? He's been doing just fine, as far as I can tell. He likes to drop in now and then. He ain't married. Man's got to satisfy his needs somehow. I ever get a little rough with you, Ernie? Heck no. If I was just some street story, then he might. But I'm Bill's most valuable piece of merchandise. Ernie would never do anything to upset old Bill, you know. What am I wearing? That girl who worked at this awful time probably is the only one sleeping here right now. Uh, this is the last girl was fell sick with one of the diseases of passion. I said that looks even better with when Pearl is wearing it. Alright. Step gingerly inside the bedroom that you share with your daughter Jenny and you hope that this is the one the last time for so long you both wanted to escape this awful place. Can't help but realize really a sigh of relief when you don't see a sign of old Bill in his bedroom. Must be outside on the balcony. Did I fuck up? So there you are. I'm not sure if you have had something for you. So there you are. I'm not sure if I'd have to send one of the other boys out after you. You can call your dogs off old Bill. I'm right here. I swear you're gonna be the death of me, Annie Bruce. Keep running away like that, and you're liable to send me to an early grave. Only so much stress a man's heart can take. Truth is, no good comes of it when you when we fight like we did last night. I've been standing out here damn near all day just thinking things over. I came up with a solution. Those little problems we've been having lately. Oh? Sure. Something I should have done an awful long time ago. I reckon it's about time you and I got married. Phil, you know how long I've been waiting to hear you say that? Oh, I got some idea. Should have done it a long time ago, I know. I ain't right to be raising a child and not to be bonded together in matrimony. This way, I could be a real father to the girl. Where's little Jenny here? She ain't here. She's staying with a friend of mine right now. Well, I reckon you should fetch her back here after supper. This is where she belongs. And Annie, don't you dare take my little girl away from me like ever again. I ain't gonna let you take advantage of my for forgiving nature. You hear? Anyhow, think of what I said. We'll talk again tomorrow. Maybe make it official. 
One of old Bill's favorite pastimes of late is to outline verses of the Bible which he believes support his brutish and vengeful way of life. For example, the phrase, Whoso, saddeth, whoso sheddeth man's blood by man shall his blood be shed. No, I can't frame the pastor. I have to flame, frame Pearl. Because she's a fucking bitch. How you doing, Zeke? Not so bad, Annie. Not so bad. Can't help but notice little Jenny ain't with you. Not that I blame you for keeping her away for a while. That's what I heard last night. Should we come back later, right? She always comes back. I'm just waiting for old Bill to cool off, that's all. Guess you two are making up then. Wish I had some sage advice about how to handle a man like Bill. My daddy was the same. I mean, old drunk he was. Sometimes I wondered if he really cared about us. At all. But then when he did, when he wasn't drinking, he, he damn near broke his back trying to put food on our table. Guess that answers the question, don't it? Just because he had a weakness for liquor don't mean he didn't love us. I'm sure he had his reasons for drinking like he did. Old Bill loves you just the same, I reckon. Guess you're right about that, Zeke. Old Bill's done so much for me and Jenny. That's the spirit. Kids are gonna be just fine and dandy. Maybe you can even convince him to lay off the booze for a while, if you're lucky. Nothing else you wanna talk about? Oh, it seems alright to you. Hmm. Oh, I should mention it. I guess he has been acting a little peculiar the f these past few days. He's just worried about the business, I reckon. We've been losing a lot of regular customers to the Majestic. Ain't nothing wrong with my beer. Before you say it, we just ain't got as many girls working for us these days. Are you worried about him? Worried? About Bill? Ha! You know as hell. You know, you know as well as I do, Annie. That man's a survivor. He's been through worse than this. Ain't nothing gonna keep him down. Don't you worry. Oh, Pearl is gonna get this shit so bad. What do you think Father Austin being here? Reckon he might be driving away some customers. But I ain't gonna turn out a man of God. Especially not the one who works so damn hard for this town. How's your daughter these days? Josie's just fine. Why don't you ask her yourself? She's just in the kitchen. She'd be glad to talk to you, Annie. What do you think about the man in black over there? Don't be worrying yourself, Annie. Keeping a close eye on that one. Already got into some trouble over the Majestic. I told him he better not make any mischief here. Said he just wants to come peace and quiet. See if he's getting that so far. What trouble did he get into at the Majestic? One of Dan Cassidy's boys was pestering, so I heard. Trying to figure out what he was doing in town. Our friend here rewarded him with a black eye. I wouldn't make the same mistake if I were you, Annie. Leave him be. That's it? He just punched a guy? Okay. Spoke to Ernie lately? Ernie? I don't associate with him anymore. Oh, than need to be. You sure know either. We both know what kind of man he is. I won't even trust him as far as I could throw him. Makes you feel that way, Zeke. A few things. Things I've seen, things I've heard. A friend of mine out of Missouri swears he saw Ernie's face on a wanted poster there. Not sure if that's truth or not. In any case, I ain't gonna take any chances with that man. How well do you know Pearl? Well as anyone knows her, I reckon. She's a different woman for every man in our Pearl. She don't like to talk about her past before she came to the Williamstown. There are rumors about her, but nobody really knows the truth. Do you ever visit her? Do you ever pay her a visit? Annie, hey, he says I have a hard enough time even climbing the stairs over there. What do you think? Josie! Josie, baby! Hey, Josie, what's cooking? Roast pork, Bill's favorite. Figured it might calm, calm him down to have something that he likes. Best thing for all of us is to keep him happy right now. Daddy said that he heard you two in, the, in a fight again last night. Are you okay, Annie?
There's really nothing, Josie. Zeke is just exaggerating things again. Sure, he does that sometimes. Only, I wonder, if things weren't that bad. Why did you take little Jenny away? All right, Josie, you got me. Maybe Bill, Bill did raise his hand to me. I'm sorry, Annie. I really wish there was something I could do to help you. If you ever need someone to talk to, thanks, Josie. I appreciate that. You need something, Annie. Oh, Bill. How does Bill seem to you lately? Hmm. I didn't notice anything, anything peculiar about his behavior. He's not been off his food. I can tell you that much. How's the old man doing? He's doing all right, all things considered. It's time in the bar if you want to ask him anything yourself. Uh, the stranger? Oh, the English fellow? I met him on the way in this morning. He was showing off to some young lads out in the street. I invited him to come over here for summer, but I didn't expect him to take me up on the offer. Seemed the Christian thing to do. He's been raising a few eyebrows around town, so I doubt anybody else would invite him to their table. You know what? He was making bets that he that he could shoot a pair of cans off of Miss Thompson's fence with the sidearm from standing outside of Doc's place. That's quite a distance. Must have a real sharp shooter. Yep, and the lads were just dumb enough to take his bet too. Made himself some money. Neither Miss Thompson nor the Doc were too happy about it though. I saw Father Augustine at the piano. I'm laundering a few clothes for him out back. Gotta feel sorry for a man who's got no woman to take care of him. God knows the town needs a man like him, even if he can be a little frightening at times. I hope the preacher do don't ever take advantage of your kindness, Josie. Father Augustine, you must be kidding. He ain't even been anything but the perfect gentleman. Kind, honest, and true. I swear, if more men in this town were like that, I might have been... <gasps> married by now. Has there been giving you any trouble lately? Not really. Some of the other boys Bill keeps around likes to leer at me sometimes, but I can handle them. You know how they are. As for Ernie, I don't think I'm really his type. Who is Ernie's type then? Come on, Annie. I've never seen the way he looks at you. I guess I don't pay him that much attention. Well, it ain't no big secret if Bill weren't his best friend, I bet Ernie would make his affections known. And the bitch. Have you seen Pearl lately? Not today. Rex should want to stay in her room as much as possible. Old Bill won't bother her as long as she keeps serving the customers. She sounds much like old Bill these days. Oh, she don't host old Bill. That ain't the reason she's keeping to herself hidden away. Pearl probably loves old Bill even more than you do, Annie. Oh, I'm sure she does. That's why I'm marrying old Bill. I'm marrying that sad sack bastard. And I'm gonna kill that motherfucker. Are you, Ernie? There you are, sweetheart. Old Bill's getting worried. But he was, Ernie. You or Jenny didn't show up. But sundown. I was meant to go out looking for you. Seems that won't be necessary at all. Damn shame. Could use some excitement around here. Sorry to disappoint, Ernie. Guess you'll just have to find uh, your excitement someplace else. Seems that way. Don't reckon we'll be having any shootouts with Dan Cassidy's boys anytime soon. We might be getting a new girl at the saloon, though. So that's at least something. Nothing else to do in this dead end town. Really getting a new girl? Seems that way. Dan Cassidy has a girl who's had a hard time settling in at the Majestic. Signing over here along with some money as part of a truce they've worked out. Seems favorable. I'll be sure to help her get acquainted with her new surroundings. Don't you worry. Well, ain't you charitable? Anything else, darling? What's old Bill acting these days? You ought to know that better than me, Annie. All I know is he's real ticked off about you talking to you, taking his girl away like that. I wouldn't recommend you repeating that little performance. 
How's Zeke doing lately? Zeke? I wouldn't worry about him, darling. That old man knows how to take care of himself. You ever see him shoot a rifle? That man's a crack shot. Oh, I'm getting a little lightheaded from this reading. Blah, blah, blah. Excuse me, I need to take a little sip of my beverage. <laughs> Ah, oh, this fucking gun. I love the saloon storyline. I really don't know how to frame Paul Pearl. The more I think about it, I don't know what to do. Oh, I was telling him he's wasting 10 stanolets behind that bar. You ought to be out with me and the boys doing the real work for old Bill. You'd get a bigger cut that way. Sounds like he's got sense considering what you and the boys get up to. Maybe you're right, Ernie. My mom always said I never did have any sense. Oh, fuck, I don't want to read anymore. Alright, guys. I'm sorry, uh, my voice is kind of, uh, my voice is kind of running away from me right now, so I'm just going to read this, uh, read the rest of this in my normal voice. Have you seen all Father Otto seen back in the saloon? Yeah, I've seen him. Strange for a holy man to be hanging out in this place. As filthy as sinful as it is. Mind you, he ain't always been as squeak clean as he likes folks to believe. You remember how things were here in Willemstown before the war? Back when he started that church of his. Free starters and raiders scuffling over Negroes. Never gave a damn about it either way myself. Reacher, though, he weren't afraid of getting his hands dirty. So was he on? Was the preacher on? I would say, actually, even most of the free staters couldn't stomach him. Most folks didn't want what Negroes around, whether they were free or slaves. Father Augustine disagreed with them. With that score. He always preached that the Negro was no different from the rest of us, God's children. So he said. Gotta admire the man's balls. You weren't afraid of nobody. What do you think about the black men in black in the saloon? Oh, I know some. About him, alright. What do I need like? It was over at the, at the Majestica. Asking questions about some of the folks living here in town. You best keep his nose out of other people's affairs. Don't need another. Any foreigners stirring up any trouble. Okay. Okay, okay. Has he been asking about Obel? Nope. Doesn't give a damn about Bill as far as I heard. Had a warning he might have been asking about me though. If he is who I think he is, he'd best watch his back around here. Talking to Josie lately? Sure. Seems she and her old man are having a hard time of it lately. Told her that's none of my concern. Sure as heck ain't gonna show them any charity. They ain't alone in having money problems in this town. Besides, she knows she can hit, get some extra work around here. No, I don't reckon her old man would allow that. Besides, she seems, she seems grateful enough for what she gets from him. She don't blame old Bill for all her problems. Like some women around here. See Pearl around? I'm sure she's working today. I might even pay her a visit myself after supper. Could use a little tenderness. I think it's hard to everybody. Alright. So anything in here I can take? I we could come to an arrangement. Please find a closed bank vault to totally getting casted. Oh, so many was removed from the envelope already. Notice self his interest in old Bill had never been above doing business with his spouse, even though. No. I didn't mean to do that. Cast Mr. Horror. When you check the lid, you're quite surprised to find this small chest unlocked. Old Bill is usually quite vigilant about keeping his values locked. There are miraculous like items of jewelry and memorabilia found on the side, sitting on top of the pile of his treasure. A golden puck bars. This could be useful. Yeah, 
I'll take that. Oh, I guess that means something's ready, bitch. Oh. <clears throat> Your Josie sure is one heck of a fine cook, Zeke. Who taught her real good? You ain't never tested my cooking, Bill. Trust me, that girl got it from her mother. Any more for you, mister? No, thank you, my dear. The meal was surprisingly delectable. I'm so grateful you invited me to dine here. Well, thank you kindly. You got a real hate, I've fallen way of talking, stranger. You're one of them traveling theater folks. Oh, you do seem high, like a highly observant type of fellow. I'm afraid you're quite wrong, Case. I'm not with the theater. Hmm. So, you ever going to tell us what it is you do, stranger? I believe that a man ought to be entitled to a certain amount of privacy in his personal affairs. What pester in the man, Annie? His occupation is not of your concern. You working now, Pearl? You can use one of your spells, evening specials. Sure, Annie. Strap by any time. <laughs> you best not wear her out too much. So she gets some other patrons to I was like, we could I send more girls in here sooner rather than later. I don't think I'll be trying, Annie. You had tough times here in Wolfstown. I don't need business advice from the likes of you. Just keep your trap shut. Do you mind the bar for a while when we're down here, yeah, Josie? I need to go check out the brewery. Better be a lot of than the last bad Zeke. Not enough problem with that you're, you're keeping folks away. What's wrong with the last bad? What was wrong with it? Tastes like horse pits, that's what. Easy now, my beer might not be the best in town, but as bad as all that. Don't you start talking back to me, Zeke, or you'll regret it. Well, I might be older than you, Bill. I can still handle myself. Just saying. Well, I reckon I see if my britches have dried out yet. Thanks again, Josie. Gonna be on your way here soon, Father. Not that I don't appreciate your little visit, but I reckon you might be driving away to our regular customers. Haven't you been with the reach a lot lately, Bill? Seems only fair you should return to favor. Hard times we all need a love from good Lord, don't we? I just hope the reach you here won't don't infringe on my hospitality too long. That's all. Don't worry, Bill. I'll be out of your hair real soon. Good. Anyway, I'm gonna go take a nap. Good eating. Always makes makes me feel dead tired. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know what the game. I know what the rules are. Where'd everybody go? Even though it doesn't seem to have kept the correct time, do you want to play? Play Pearl has no real reason to do this. Barrel of the trusty old colt right up against Bill's temple. Doesn't stir in his sleep at all, completely oblivious to his imminent death. Only the trailer of fairy feels so easy. Far from the sharpened sun convulsion when the bullet pierces the skull, while Bill barely moves at all. And he is dead, blood seeping from the wound in the side of his head. He, he let the sidearm slip from his fingers and fall to the floor. That was a noisy sigh. Somebody with no doubt come investigate soon. You need to get out of here.
killer! There's a killer in the saloon! God damn it, no! Hey. Are you up there on the balcony, Annie? It's all the commotion. I am so guilty. I'm up on the fucking balcony of all places. All right, I've finished searching the saloon. I aim to figure out exactly what happened here tonight. And I reckon one of you folks knows something about it. Seems there's only one face here that i never seen before. What's your name, stranger? You must call me something. Call me Gideon. I'm real interested in you, Gideon. What's your business here with this town? All you need to know, Sheriff, is that I've never broken the law. And I'm not intent on doing so. Oh, that's all I need to know, is it? How long has this fella been hanging around with the saloon, Zeke? Uh, let me think. He must have turned up at uh, an hour before supper. He ain't causing no trouble. Just been sat at that table over there playing cards all night. It must speak to him. Only for him to tell me to go take a hike. Come to think of it, I did see Andy talk to him for a while. You're not right. Gotta say, I'm interested in you as well, Annie. Hey, yep. Word on the street is you took Jenny across the town to a hotel last night. Figure you and Bill must have had another little disagreement. <laughs> Zeke, you must have been tending the bar last night. Did you hear anything? Yeah, I heard raised voices upstairs. Annie and Bill's. Ain't nothing unusual about that. What were you talking about with him, Annie? I finally worked up the nerve to confront the old Bill about his drinking. It wasn't doing anybody any good. That must have took a lot of courage, Annie. We all know that old Bill was like the, was like when he'd been out at the whiskey. I reckon that must have taken its toll on you as well. Bill was a mean drunk. Can't deny that. All right then. You hear anything else, Zeke? Sure. Next thing I heard was sort of a big thumping sound from upstairs, like someone fell into the furniture. Uh huh. How'd you explain that, Annie? We gotta do the woman thing, man. I stumbled into something. That's all. So Bill didn't lay his hands on you. No, Sheriff. Just being clumsy is all. Not sure about that, Annie. But have it your way. Anyway, the next thing I knew, Annie was bounding down the stairs with little Jenny. The pair of them ran out into the rain. So I know, Sheriff. Thanks, Zeke. You've been real helpful. In any case, I need to know everything you said and did after you got here tonight, Annie. Anyone here to speak her before supper? So I spoke her all right. I asked her about little Jenny, and she said she was planning on bringing her back old Bill. That cooled off a bit. I had some words to say. Tried to explain how Bill's temper didn't mean that he weren't in love with her. And he seemed to agree with me in that. Not sure that was the most sage advice. Zeke. Maybe not, Sheriff. We spoke about old Bill, too. I mentioned he'd been acting straight lately. And he asked if I was worried about him. Told her, of course I wasn't. Bill was a survivor. Ain't not, you ain't wrong about that, Zeke. Something tells me Bill's death probably wasn't his own doing. She asked me about our, our new friend here. So I was keeping an eye on him. Charming. That's right, I was reassuring. Yeah, we talked about Ernie, and he asked if I could trust him. I think you can guess what I said. Didn't you say someone saw his face on a wanted poster somewhere? Kansas City, was it? Uh, you know, nothing about that, Ernie. Got no idea what they're talking about, Sheriff. I'm a law abiding citizen, as you know. Uh huh. I think I'm gonna have to take a look into that all the same. Finally, we spoke about Pearl, about how nobody really knows anything about her past. Just if. 
I'm not sure we need to answer to that, Zeke. I'm kind of curious, Sheriff. Well, you see, when a man gets to be my age... All right, all right, we get the picture. <laughs> That's about all we said to each other. Ernie came over to me and had a word as I was playing the piano. I asked the good lord and she said she was angry and said, blah, 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 blah. Reckon that probably gave an idea with the Joe's bill. Go on. She asked if I seen my bill lately. I told her I see him at the church all the time. Always has a lot of energy, I said. Sings louder and longer than anyone else. So you hadn't noticed him acting different at all recently. A little sullen, maybe? Can't say I have, Sheriff. He's not a church. She asked about Zeke, too. Said he comes to the church every week, but we don't speak as much as I'd like to. Said that Zeke gives generously at the church. That he does. He's a good, generous fellow, is our Zeke. Thanks for your kind words, Peter. I appreciate it. Look at that Josie. I've always thought it was you as well, Preacher. Thank you kindly. Both of you. Oh, one more thing. She asked about Pearl as well. I said I don't know much. I don't see her at the church much more. Than much anymore. Oh ho ho! She mentioned that she'd been accused of taking money from the collections plate. That's why she kept away from the church. Is that true, Pearl? It's true. Those jerks accused me of it, Sheriff. I never stole nothing. Hmm. So you say. That's all I can remember. As the bartender already mentioned, she did come speak to me. In fact, I mistook her for another prostitute and tried to turn her away. Heh. <laughs> Bet she didn't like that. She asked what brought me to the saloon. If not women. I told her. It's none of her concern. Specifically, she wanted to know whether my business here involved Bill in some way. I told her it did not. I have never known, been known to associate with him. That's true. We ain't been asking about old Bill since we got here. Hmm. I guess you might be telling the truth there, then. Anyway, that was the entirety of our brief conversation. And did come speak to me in the kitchen while I was making supper. Daddy had told me about the fight she'd gotten into with Bill last night. I asked if she was alright. She said nothing had happened and that, and that my old man was just exaggerating. I want to know how come she took Jenny away in, in that case. Then she admitted that he did hit her after all. That's enough trying to claim that he didn't, Annie. Try to keep your story straight. She asked me about Mr. Gideon. I said I just met him this morning and invited him to supper. It was very kind of you to do so. Didn't you say you were showing off your skills with a six shooter? Some lines up front. This is hard talk for an hour straight. Interesting. Some kind of crack shot there, Gideon. I don't know how to shoot straight, Sheriff. I'll say that much. How about that? She asked about what Father Augustine was doing at the saloon. I told her it was laundering some clothes. As you also want to know about Ernie. That's right, you said you weren't his type. Hey now, don't sell yourself short there, Josie. Be careful. Hmm, she wanted to know if Pearl had been getting on with Bill. I said, of course she was. Everyone knows that she adored him. It's true, I did. I think that's all she said. Hmm. <sighs> Sorry to this point. I had my excitement elsewhere. <laughs> God damn. This is just recapping everything I talked about. Josie, he was a good man. I left time for good this time. Well, that maybe she should have. She asked me what I meant by that. I said she don't exactly pull her weight around here. She said all I ever do is spread my legs. I remind her that it wasn't a little long ago. That's right, Annie. Used to work. Be a working girl for old Bill. Almost forgot that. You ever thinking about taking revenge on things Bill made you do? 
I never blamed old Bill for it. The way I see it, it was my own decisions that landed me in the position. I can't blame anyone else. One way of looking at it, we spoke intimately about Bill as well. Apparently Annie here knew that me and Bill were sleeping together. He never was good at keeping things quiet. Probably didn't like that, Annie. I didn't believe the word of it, Bill. Wouldn't waste time on someone whore like her. Why, you calm down, ladies. You were saying, Pearl? She has supposed to eat too. Told her we hadn't had a tumble in more than a year. Would that I could, Pearl. Spoke about the, the preacher. Bill is a good bit. Finally, she asked about Ernie. I said I get visits from him now and then. She was wondering if he ever treated me rough. Told her the truth, that he never did. Of course not. I'm a perfect gentleman, ain't I? I don't remember anything else about it. About Bill, Ernie. Speak to him before supper? Sure did. So it was about time we got married. Oh my! Dang. We should pick his moment. What do you tell him? I told him I'd, I'd marry him. So these two are engaged, and he's dead within an hour. He's fishy to you, Sheriff? Tell us, Ernie. That doesn't prove anything. Alright, now I want to hear what happened during Bill's last meal. Could be important. Do you cook, Josie? I would ask him what the hell he was doing in town. What happened then? I think Ernie told me he might come and pay me a visit. That's right, Bill told me. I'd best not worry. Where you out for the other customer? He said it sounded like we could use more girls. Said these were hard times with business. We all knew that already. Bill sounds like the times were weighing him down a lot. Anything else? I just I remember I asked Josie to mind the bar that evening. Right. It doesn't. My beer ain't the best, but it sounds like it's touchy stuff for the Did you and Bill fight about it? Oh, we might have said a few words, I see. Bill also told me that I'd be the best on my way, as I recall. It seems he thought I was scaring off his regulars. And he brought up the fact that Bill has been coming to church a lot. Alright then. So who was unlucky enough to discover the old Bill's car? I found him. I was enjoying his pearls company in the scarlet room when I heard a noise. Raised the other, raised the alarm quick as I did, could. Guess that gives us both an alibi, huh? Not necessarily. You were you and Pearl together the whole time after supper? Well, no, I went to take a leak. I guess we first sleep after two. And you're both su suspects, just like everyone else here. Besides, one of you might have been an accomplice to the other. So where were the rest of you folks when you heard Ernie hollering? I was tending to the bar. It gave me quite a scare. I was about back waiting for my britches to dry. I watched them live. Indeed, I just, just finished making use of the outdoor facilities. I was in the brewery checking the latest batch of beer. How about you, Annie? Where were you? Upstairs. I was out on Bill's balcony. That's right, I saw her up there. That means you were mighty close to the scene of the murder, Annie. As you weren't the one who discovered the body. I said that's mighty suspicious. We also know that it was. that put old Bill in the ground. Did this six shooter belong to old Bill? Yep, that was his, alright. You were a pretty sharp shooter with the stranger. You were practicing something? Certainly aren't an accomplished marksman. I have not seen that weapon before, however. Right. <sighs> a lot of business paper and such upstairs, and I haven't had a chance to read them yet. I thought an issue in your room, Pearl. Is that right, Chef? I guess this gold watch probably doesn't belong to you. It's a bit too fine. Hey, that's Bill's watch. You been stealing again, Pavel? Won't be the first time. No, I never took that. Maybe old Bill found out you were stealing from him. Could be you killed him in self-defense. No, I didn't. How do you explain the watch? I, I guess I can't. I haven't found anything else that caught my attention anyway. All right, now I gotta search all of you. Come on, now is that really necessary? Right, show. Best we get over with. You first, Augustine. Last nice but not least, Annie. We get too handsy there, Sheriff. Relax. 
All in the line of duty. Now here's my penis. Uh, I'm done with you. I reckon I've heard enough to come to a decision here. Got a lot of questions to answer, honey. Eh, hey, nothing good for you. I reckon you had anything to do with Bill's death, Pearl. No matter what anyone says. Give it to me. You're fond of him. Fuck. Really? I shouldn't have used the gun. Shouldn't have used the gun. Well, Annie Bruce, here we are. Got the wrong woman, Sheriff. You can swear that all you like. I ain't got no other suspects. And my gut tells me that you're the one who did this to Bill. Can't say I blame you. Everyone know how he had it coming. You'll let me go then? Sorry, Annie. Justice must be served. Figures. There's someone here to see you. Ma. Jenny. This is a very loud soundtrack. I still have to give you two a few minutes together. Then I'll be taking Jenny over to say Zeke's place. Could be the last time you see her for a while, Annie. Let's make it count. Ma! Sorry, Jenny. This was my fault. What are they going to do to you? It's been the talk of hanging. I don't know. Look at this old Bill way of getting back at me one last time. This is one good thing to come out of it. I can't hurt you anymore. No, Ma! You can't hurt me. Mm. Man, now we get a hanging scene, right? Nope, 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 nope. Oh, God. Well, almost hour of the deed, Dynasty. That was fun. My voice is almost gone. So I guess I'll see you all next time, guys. On the deed, Dynasty. Legacy of the Bruce family.